My name is Caleb, and the movie review that you're about to watch is completely true. It's absolutely true. 100% of it is true. It's just the names and occupation of the people participating in the review have all been changed. And also the location and the events have been changed to protect the identity of the people who actually took part in these events that didn't happen because they're changed. So this movie review is absolutely real. Fourth kind. <laughs> Fourth Kind, released in 2009 and is directed by Alatund Asusami, who's also behind such films like Evidence, the show Sleepy Hollow, and a couple of episodes of Star Trek Discovery. And this film is starring Mia Jovovich, Will Patton, and Casey Jones himself, Elias Coteas. And the reason why we're talking about the fourth kind today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from a longtime contributor and supporter of this channel, David Klimov. Thank you very much for the recommendation. I'm still reading your book. Once I get that done, I'll give a few little words on the next review that you send my way. But I am going to leave the link to your book on Amazon in the description of this video. That way all the other viewers out there can support you and check out a couple of the movies that you talk about in your book. And if anyone else out there also wants to support me and contribute to this channel, you can select the QR code that is in the bottom left corner of your screen right now. Send over your donation of $5 or more with your movie recommendation. And if I have access to it, I will watch it, review it, Give you a little shout out just like I did with David Klimov here. Dr. Abigail Tyler is a psychologist working in Nome, Alaska and is dealing with several patients who are acting very strangely and seeing supernatural things that no one has any explanation for. Well, as the therapy sessions continue, she tries to use hypnosis on her patients to try to unlock some hidden memories. Well, these unlocked memories spark very violent feelings and emotions in these people to where they start committing murder suicides. And as the local law Law enforcement take on these cases, some supernatural things start happening to Abigail Tyler and her family. So this movie starts with Mia Jovovich, the actor, addressing the audience as herself, saying kind of what I said in my little cold open, that all the events that happen in this movie are real, and you see the live reenactment, I guess, of Mia Jovovich as the actress playing the characters, and then you'll see a split screen of the actual footage of the actual people going through the said scene with the official recording of the live action recording of what actually happened yeah i'm can i call bullshit on this please <laughs> i was trying to be polite here but my god this is fucking bullshit it is an interesting directorial concept in an attempt to scare the audience, or at least to convince them that part of this is real. We're going back to films like The Blair Witch Project and Open Water, things like that. Oh yes, we found all of this footage of this scary shit. Because I'm not going to spoil the supernatural things that happen in here, but gosh, all of this is happening. And it's not because these people went missing in northern Alaska, a place that probably no one should be living because it's so cold and the weather is so terrible. Yeah, this film is trying to convince me. And I'll admit, I was a little curious watching it. I'm like, okay, is this, is this actually real? Is this no, there's no way this could be real. Maybe it could be? No, it's not. To the point where I was looking up information about the movie and then my suspicions went completely away and all of this... Yeah, this is all recorded for the film. This didn't actually happen. There's no official tapes anywhere or official recordings anywhere from any of these people. No, no, it didn't happen. But I applaud the effort. I really do. They tried and they failed. Though I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of Mia Jovovich. Her performances have always been either stale or over the top or just straight up annoying in any of the films that I've seen her in. The most tolerable, I would say, is a fifth element, but even then, it was a little little over the top at points. Her performance here is very natural and very sincere and very realistic to me. A performance unlike anything that I've seen from her before. So I was pretty impressed actually with her performance. It's the best part of the movie. In terms of the story and the plot here though, which, you know, if you go back to any of my reviews, the plot and the story is the most important thing. Like, focus on that, and then everything else would follow. If you focus on anything else, the film is not going to succeed. And this film, it doesn't succeed 
because the plot here it's like what is the plot here what's the what are we doing the movie starts we see abigail tyler in bed with her husband and then a terrible murder happens we don't see exactly who's killing him but she's in bed with him and he's being stabbed and we can tell that's traumatizing she has a hypnosis session with her father who is also a psychiatrist and then she becomes one herself and then she does the same his hypnosis things on these people and like again like what are we doing after the film concluded and again i'm not going to spoil what the twist is here of what's actually happening but it just seemed like this film was conjured to make sense of a whole bunch of people disappearing in this area and because no bodies were found and law enforcement were arresting people because it had to be them for some reason these stories that took place in this film were crafted to make up some make-believe reason of why people went missing as i'm listening to myself i feel very much like a cynic <laughs> because there is part of me that does believe that this thing that happens in the movie. God, this is hard to not spoil a movie for the audience for a movie that's almost 20 years old, but damn it, I'm going to be respectful of it. But I will say that I am a believer of the thing that is the subject matter once we get to the third act of this movie. But after watching this and watching like other people claim it, at least back in the 90s, we don't see too much of those stories being told nowadays unless you're on SNL but everybody just seems like whack jobs in the end I think Jovovich's performance is by far the best thing here and it's a good attempt from the creators to try to fool the audience and to try to scare and creep out the audience but as to the cynical mind you weren't pulling the wool over my eyes I knew from a fact that all of this was bullshit anytime you see a movie say like it is based on true events just know that there is a lot of embellishment when it comes to those said adaptations. Because it's a movie, real life is not a movie, real life doesn't happen like a movie where everything is equal and everything flows beautifully like a nice three-act story. Based on true events, and even here, where it's like, no, everything happened, it's just everything's been changed to protect the identities of those people. So everything happened, except not happened here because everything's been changed, but it did happen. I'm gonna give the fourth kind one and a half out of five Blu-rays. No, sir, I didn't like it. So guys, have you seen the fourth kind? What did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across because of this video, then comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you'll the next time I'm released next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.